Join us on this recap of the side trips we did at the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. The balloon events are in the early morning and evening, so you have the middle of the day free to do other things, like sleep or visit other places. We arrived at the Balloon Fiesta the morning before it started, so that afternoon we visited Old Town Albuquerque. It's a nice, compact, semi-historic tourist district, lots of shopping, and certainly lots of balloon-related stuff at that time of year. We visited the Balloon Museum, which is right on the balloon launch area part of a very big complex where the Fiesta is held. It's pretty interesting. There are exhibits that explain the history of hot air and gas ballooning. It's just amazing to me that people went up to 53,000 feet in a balloon without even an engine to steer or get them back. We also visited Santa Fe, the capital of New Mexico. It was fun to take the train. It was pretty cheap. I think there's a special on certain days. The train also takes you right near downtown. And we caught a shuttle, free shuttle bus that took us right to the main square. The area is beautiful. It's one of the main tourist destinations in New Mexico. But of course, during Balloon Fiesta week, it's very crowded. We visited the uh, art museum, went through an old church, and just generally had a good time. A little bit of shopping, a lot of people watching. With all the food we were eating, we had to visit somewhere outdoorsy and do some hiking. So we went to Petroglyph National Monument. It's right in Albuquerque. It's a very interesting place to hike. There's three main areas to visit. We did the Reconada Canyon Trail. And this area shows that graffiti has been around for a very long time. It's hard to really know what was original or done later as different people moved through the area over a 2,500 year time span. If you told me that it was all done in the last 50 years, I might believe it. Or if you told me some of it was 2,000 years old or 3,000 years old, eh, I might believe it. Of course, we're here probably on one of the busiest days of the year because of the Balloon Festival, but it's still really nice. Does not look like Florida. Does it, Rhonda? Actually, it's not. Well, the sand looks kind of like Florida. <laughs> Rock. A good-sized group of the escapees RVers had lunch together at the Range Cafe. It's an iconic Albuquerque place with lots of local color, pretty good food at a fair price. We enjoyed it. Acoma Sky City is a pueblo about an hour outside of Albuquerque. It's a very cool place to visit. It's good to see the small Native American tribes preserving their culture. But it is ironic that the funding for much of the redevelopment of these historic sites and museums comes from the tribal casinos.
There was a concert on the last full day of the fiesta. Rhonda's a country music fan and bought tickets in advance. It was pretty good with three bands playing, none of whom I was familiar with, but we enjoyed it. Um, Note to self, next year I wouldn't buy tickets. You can hear it and see it just as good from the open balloon fields. We watched the morning balloons from the RV parking area the last morning and got on the road pretty early. We stayed just on the New Mexico-Texas border at a full hookup site to fill up with water and drain the tanks for the long drive home. Hi everybody. Um, we visited six new states, so we're going to add the states to our map. Um, the first state is Mississippi. Um, we stayed at Lake Perry State Park in Mississippi, and it was a very pretty little park. Um, very inexpensive, nice lake, nice, sun nice sunsets. And that was after driving 400 miles that first day. Oh yeah. Yes, we were a little tired when we got there. We kept going and we actually drove through Louisiana. We stayed at Beaver Dam. Um, I don't think it was a state park. It was a for national forest. And uh, it was very pretty, very wooded, nice lake, nice campground. So we get to add Louisiana to our state map. And we saw a lot of cotton. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. So next, after going through Louisiana, we went through Texas. And we stayed at Hapgood County Park and um, it was very cool it was only 15 bucks a night it was a pull through site we didn't even have to unhook the car had full hookups very good that's a big state yes we'll definitely get back to these states but it's very cool that we get to add them okay the next state is new mexico and i'm gonna put him on here and this is where we stayed at the with the escapees at the balloon fiesta and we were there most of the time then we also stayed at blaze in saddles campground rv campground we actually stayed there on the way in and on the way out so on the way back from the balloon fiesta we passed through oklahoma we get to add that state and we stayed at this really cool park. It's called Red Rock Canyon Adventure Park. It was an RV park. We were a little tired because we had been at the Balloon Fiesta for um, two weeks. So when we got to this park, Red Rock Canyon Adventure Park, we stayed there two nights and just kind of decompressed and had a very nice relaxing time. Yeah. It was actually really pretty because it was actually when we drove in, you had to drive way down into this canyon kind of thing and the RV did fine. I was a little nervous about that. That was probably quite a drop. But um, then when we got in there, it was beautiful. It had red rock canyons all around. It was very green and luscious and just a beautiful area. Okay, our last state on this trip was Arkansas. And we stayed at a beautiful state park, Lake Chicot State Park. We got a really nice camp spot right on the water. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.